Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning my title is called They Are Trying to Stop the Wedding. But before I continue, I'd like to do a short prayer with you. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Lord, I thank you yet for another day that you have granted to us, your people, O oh God. Lord God, I pray, God, that you will use me as you will, Father, as you have given me another word, Father, yet another word for someone, O oh God. I pray, Father, that it will bring help, Father God, that it will do what it's intended to do, Father. Lord God, for you are always looking out, Lord God, and you know everything, O oh God, for nothing is hidden before you, O oh God. And so, Father, I pray, God, that you will intervene and that your will will be done, Father God, as I release this prophecy to the person it should be for. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I pray, Father, for every soul this morning who will choose to receive you, O oh God, as you ace in their foot steps to do so before it's too late for them in the name of Jesus I pray and I tell you thanks in Jesus' name amen and amen hallelujah amen hallelujah as I've said this morning my title is called they are trying to stop the wedding on the 18th of February 24 spiritually the Lord allowed me to hear someone saying Uganda Oh, Uganda, about a lady that is from Uganda. Then I heard a song playing that says it's a final countdown, as though it was for a wedding. Then the Lord allowed me again to hear that this girl's family is a very famous family. They are famous people. Then I heard spiritually again that it's a fairy tale. Someone was saying it's a fairy tale for this girl will be prevented from marrying this guy. The family of this girl will try and stop the wedding. I don't know why the family wanted to stop the wedding, but this is what I heard spiritually. And so I believe that this person is someone who watches my channel. And so seek the Lord in prayer. Seek the Lord in prayer regarding this. For this is what God has shown me all the way in Uganda. God is showing me what will happen for this person. And I believe that it's someone who's watching my channel. So pray and seek the Lord on this. For we know that marriage is of God. It is a blessing that God has allowed us. And so be prayerful. This is all I heard. Otherwise, I would have let you know why. But this is what God has allowed me to hear at this time. You know, this is what was revealed to me spiritually of what is to come, what is to take place. Spiritually, it's happened. It's manifested. Only waiting for it to happen here. And so, as I've said, you will just have to seek the Lord on this. Okay, these are my few words for today. But I would like to say if there's anyone who don't know Jesus as their personal saviour, I want to encourage you this morning to seek the Lord today before it's too late for you. Tomorrow is not promised to you. It's not promised to any of us. And you could die in your sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you this morning to seek the Lord today before it's too late for you. There are also those who were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage you also to turn to the Lord again and to seek him in truth before it's too late for you. As I've said, what will it profit you to gain this whole world and to lose your soul? There are also those who are still professing the faith, but they are lukewarm. They have one foot in and one foot out, still doing the things of this world and the things of God. I want to encourage you also to turn away from the things of this world and to seek the Lord in truth, remembering that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are a kingdom people 
And so let us live a life that is pleasing, that is worthy, and that is acceptable unto God, that his name will be glorified and that souls will be saved for the kingdom of God because of the life that we live here on this earth. Remembering also that the word of the Lord tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him, that they will not perish, but have everlasting life through Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord also tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life, and that eternal life is through Christ Jesus. These are my few words for today. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.